Well, hey, y'all, my name is Wes Dawson. I'd like to welcome you to Gabagool and Eight Gone Country. First thing I gotta say is, yes, we gone country. Look at them boots. Now, if you knew country, you'd know that I'm loosely referencing some song from the mid-90s. Some people say, hey, Wes, what right do you have to talk like that? You're not really from the country. Well, let me tell you this there, boy. I know way too many Alan Jackson lyrics, and I'm not just talking Chattahoochee. I'm talking deep tracks. I think that gives me more than the right to talk like this. Honestly, I would have worn my cowboy boots down to Gabagool Podcast Central. But that would mean putting on a pair of jeans. And right now it's about 30 degrees up here. So I'm wearing my two-day-old swimsuit instead. Now here's the thing. I did in fact grow up in the country. And a lot of folk reckon that I'm either a Yankee or I'm from Northern Ontario. The answer is, ah, nope and nope, okay? And also my accent may loosely drift into Australian possibly because I'm not that great at accents. That was almost British. We don't speak to them red coats. So yeah, either I'm a Yankee or Northern Ontario. One I've never been to, and one I don't want to neither. You know, I grew up in a small rural town, real country. Well, an Anglophone community is sort of alone on its own little island. That's why I talk so funny. Of course, for those of y'all not familiar with the nation of Quebec, you see we're compromised predominantly by two languages. And the linguistic minority is francophone. That makes up about 90% of the population. And people saying, Wes, do you know what minority means? And I say, yeah, well, you heard right. Up here in our little nation, we do things a little bit differently. So, yes, I'm country. You know, I've worked the land. Well, technically, it's landscaping, but it's the same darn thing. Another way I prove myself as a true countryman is I grew up on a farm. Technically, it was no longer an active farm when I was old enough to remember, but that don't change the fact that we got some tall, prickly grass in the back. Okay? Oh, I sound like Mr. Mackey sometimes when I'm trying to sound country, okay? You know, I come from an area I'm surrounded by hunters and hunting culture. Woo-hoo! Except we may be the only family that don't hunt, but we ain't neither here nor there. Geographically speaking, I have a right to talk like this. Well, well, technically no, not not that either. All right, well, we're, we're halfway through the episode, so I reckon we just keep on moseying. We're going to do us some Ted Mosbying. So yeah, I'm country. <laughs> For some reason, I think country folk like to spit a lot. We have some overactive saliva glands, okay? So I learned to drive real young. Been drinking since I was 13. If that's not country, maybe it's just parental abuse. I don't know. And I noticed one big distinction is that when I'm with my city-slicking friends, I'm considered an expert mechanic. Couldn't get one and none better. Of course, up in the country here, my mechanical skills are laughed at. Hell, sometimes the boys like to take me, throw me in the urinal, and piss all over me like it's the 1996 film Sleepers with Kevin Bacon and Brad Pitt. I'm just a good old country boy who believes in mama's apple pie, liberty, Ronald Reagan. Which is weird considering, as I mentioned, I'm from a rural part of Quebec, Canada. You know, it's not all that much to me. I like chewing tobacco. I like pretending my brother's bathtub brew is fucking worth putting in my body. I like watching that flag flutter on in the breeze in that crisp mountain air. You know, I'm just a humble and simple man steeped in nuanced layers of intrigue and deception. And that's it, that's all. I'm kind of like a skinny Vince Gill. And if you don't know who that is, imagine a less talented skinny Garth Brooks. Okay? You hear now? Alright, so I reckon we moves you on into some good bad right now. So a good rednecks. Bad. Hillbillies. You see, there's a misconception about these two kinds of folk. One is just a good-hearted, hard-working country folk. The other's a moonshine swilling inbred dope. And I'll let you decide which is which on your next trip up into the country. A good is good old-fashioned farming, working with your hands. A bad 
that the word ho has been appropriated by modern rap music. Of course, by modern rap music, I refer to music from roughly about 30 years ago. A topical good is companies responding to this ongoing pandemic whoop la with products specific to our needs. The bad is now they're selling some mixture that you put into your washing machine that's supposed to kill all the bacteria. Well, what the fuck was your detergent doing before? Are you telling me, Ty, that if I shit my drawers and I put that through the wash cycle, I was still putting on shitty drawers the next day? Is that why I'm not welcome at the Legion no more? Dang. Well, <laughs> fortunately we run out of time on this here adventure. So we're going to touch some upcoming subjects for next week's episode. Now, if y'all remember correctly, on episode 40, we doth employed the Shakespearean episode. This week, we don't gone country. Well, next week, we'll be doing the Asian episode. A little disclaimer, it's going to get real hateful real fast. Or not. Who knows? See y'all then. I've been Wes Dawson for Gabagool and Eight, and woo-hoo, woo-hoo, pew, pew, pew. Listen, like, share, and subscribe. Y'all come back now, you hear?